Hello everyone, welcome to Class Laga. To solve confusion regarding your career, Class Laga is here. B is shooting stars at night or sunrise and sunset during the day. Moon and stars have always fascinated all of us since childhood. The never-ending sights of UFOs in the sky, the stars and the planets and many worlds beyond them have kept us intrigued in the study and exploration of space. Hence, countries on Earth have developed space research bodies. For example, the US has NASA and likewise India has ISRO. In this video of Class Laga, we will explore how to become an ISRO scientist. The basic qualification required, exams one needs to clear, the salary and promotions of ISRO scientist, along with the advantages and perks you get in this job, Class Laga will also tell you the challenges an ISRO scientist faces. First things first. Let's start with a brief introduction about ISRO. The Indian Space Research Organization is the country's national space agency with its headquarters in Bangalore. It is run by the Department of Space which is overseen directly by the Honorable Prime Minister of India. Founded in 1969, ISRO superseded INCOSPA which was established in 1962 by India's first Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and scientist Vikram Sarabhai, two of the country's founding fathers of the Indian space program. Now, the question comes, how can a young and inspiring Indian get into ISRO as scientist and explore the infinite mysteries of the universe? For that, keep watching. But before we start, subscribe to Class Laga if you haven't already. Your one tap on subscribe button motivates us to keep making the best career related content in India. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get all notifications for new videos. Now there are two ways to get into ISRO as a scientist. The first and the best option is to write the JEE mains after your plus two. Qualify for JEE Advance and get a good score to get into the IIST rank list. IIST stands for Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology. It is located in Thiruvananthapuram, Kerala. At IIST, you will study B.Tech in Aerospace Engineering or B.Tech in Avionics for 4 years. There are 5 year dual degree courses as well. On completion of your course, you will be absorbed in ISRO provided you have maintained a good CGPA throughout. Another way to get into ISRO is to pursue engineering from any college, preferably in electrical, mechanical, electronics or computer sciences. During your final year, you can appear for the ICRB exam for the post of scientist engineer. A minimum of 65% is required in engineering. The first level of this ICRB admission exam consists of 80 multiple choice questions. You must go through several rounds of interviews after passing it. Now, I'll tell you something crucial. IIST entrance exam has a higher chance of getting you into ISRO than ICRB entrance due to the large number of applicants to ICRB. It implies that enrolling in IIST is the best route to becoming an ISRO scientist. The post you will join after bachelor's from IIST or after master's upon clearing ICRB exam is called scientist engineer. It is one of the best paid class 1 jobs with a starting basic salary of 56,100. Initially, the in-hand salary will be around 80,000 rupees. Along with that, you will get a bonus every 6 months and an update allowance every year. Every 4 years, you will be called for an interview for your promotion. Yes, you heard it right. Though it is a government job, the promotion at ISRO are not seniority based. They are performance based. On promotion, your salary will increase automatically. There are many advantages and perks of being a scientist at ISRO. First, it is a class 1 job with a handsome salary. Second, scientists are seen with tremendous respect in society. And that is the most important thing in life. Next, whatever work you will do at ISRO, most probably it will create history one day. Being a scientist at ISRO, you are always surrounded by very sharp minds. You will be forever learning and progressing. Whenever there is a launch, you receive thousands of messages congratulating you and ISRO. It feels so good. You will work without any kind of political pressure. But each job comes with its unique challenges. Likewise, ISRO scientists have their own challenges. It is a challenging job. 
you have to be on your toes all the time one small mistake can have a big impact you have to work on tight deadlines and schedules but all of it will be fun as promotions are based on performance so you have to keep performing your best all the time and have to maintain a good rapport with your seniors it can be tricky sometimes so friends this is all about how to become an isro scientist class laga always aspires to bring the best career related content to its subscribers if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button please show some love and share this video with your friends and family do comment if you want us to make a video on a career of your choice